who are preparing to take on the final. The last event on this second night of the World Under-20 Championships in Tampa 2018 is the men's 100 metres final. The world lead, Anthony Schwartz of the United States, going to college at Auburn. He's one of the finalists. Here they all come then. Dominic Gashwell, personal best in the heats and in the semi final. To earn his place in the final eight. Miyamoto of Japan, what a night it's been for them. Here's Michael Stevens, a cool entrance from the Jamaican. Michael Stevens. Uh, I should say, Eric Harrison following Michael Stevens. Number two in the US this year. Henrik Larsson with a big national record in the semi final. Here's Anthony Schwartz. You consider him on form to be the favourite. It's going to be a wide receiver playing uh, college football as well as doing track and field. Tembo Monorang of South Africa, fifth in the world this year. And the Indonesian, Lalu Mohamed Zori, will be in lane eight and is not to be discounted at all in this final. There they are then, eight finalists, one gold. Who will follow in the footsteps of Noah Lyles in Big Goss two years ago? Stevens of Jamaica, hoping to win their first gold medal since Dexter Lee's repeat in 2010. Big smile for Dominic Ashwell. He's had a great day with uh, personal best marks. Miyamoto in two, Stevens in three. Eric Harrison of the United States in lane four. Henrik Larsson of Sweden is producing his best and peaking at the right moments in five. Anthony Schwartz, pre-event favorite in six. Tembo Monorang started really well in the semi-final. And Zori of Indonesia, a national record in qualifying. Final moments, a chance to consider what could be ahead. Ten of the biggest seconds of their lives. What a time for these athletes. Larson with a huge opportunity here. So Monarang wanting to bring it home for South Africa. So the lineup: Ashwell in one, Miyamoto in two, Stevens in three, Harrison four, Larson five, Schwartz in six. Monorang in seven, looking to the stars before he settles in his blocks. And Zori in lane eight on the outside. It's the 100 meters final at the World Under 20 Championships. And they are away, and a good start made by Monorang and also by Zori. And Schwartz is being pushed really hard here. It's very, very close as they approach the line. And on the outside, it's Zori of Indonesia. It's a big story in the 100 meters final. 10.19, really close between Zori, Monorang, and Schwartz. But also Ashwell was going well. But it's really, really close. I think Zori took it, though, in lane uh, eight on the near side. He's been a surprise package already in these championships, and he's done it again. Zori is the new champion, a new national record, and we have a new world champion in Tampere. What a performance by Zori. National record to make himself the world under 20 champion. No one could have predicted this at the start of this event. Incredible, out of lane eight. Schwartz has taken second, Harrison third, so a US two and three, Monorang in fourth, Ashwell with another personal best for Great Britain in fifth. It was a really close final. In the last meters it was decided, and Zuri held off the challenge of the two Americans to seal his place in history and a golden moment for Indonesia at these World Championships in Finland. What a performance. The American duo in second and third. But the story here is all about Sari in the outside lane, coming through the rounds really well. 
personal best in the semi-final. And then, wow, record in the final. And it's the first medal of any color for an Indonesian athlete in the 100 meters in the history of these 17 editions of the World Under 20 Championships. And here it is again. Look at how quick Sari got out, out there in lane eight. And he just came through the final 20 meters. He was so strong, pumping those arms, lifting his knees. And in the semi-final, same brilliant knee lift. Looks across at the end, can hardly believe it. What a run by him. And a bit of daylight between him and second and third. Four hundredths of a second to win it. Absolute masterclass in sprinting. Well, what a moment. We need to find a flag for him to uh, do the lap of honor. I'm just not sure it was the first thing the Indonesian team were thinking, you know, in this 100 meters that uh, Zari will come out of this as the champion. But what a championship performer. What under the two Americans, Schwartz and uh, Harrison as well, actually ran a really good second half of the race because he was well down. Uh, at one stage. We watch it from the start again. Harrison really slow out of the blocks, actually. So a good recovery from him to get his place on the podium. At this stage, I'm looking at Monering and Schwartz as we were calling this race. I'm thinking one of them is going to push through. But Zari held them off, and he held them off quite comfortably in the end. It was close, but it was also convincing enough for Zari to be handed gold here at these World Championships. Great run as well by the British athlete Dominic Ashwell in a PB down there in fifth place. He was in contention really close between second and fifth due to 10.22, a 10.23, 10.23, 10.25. What a competitive final, really exciting final here tonight to close out the track events.